Hey everybody, look who I got beside me. He agreed to make a video with me, but I wanted to make a video regarding how having a child with autism affects our lives and what it feels like to have a child with autism. Well, I'm gonna go first. I feel like it is way harder when you have a child with autism, well, special needs in general, because as a normal, really, family that gets, they, they get to go out and do things in certain places, the birthday parties, they get to go on vacation, to the beach, just anywhere in general to have fun. We're not able to do that because Aiden don't like it or he'll get overwhelmed by big crowds. So it makes it more stressful to really go anywhere and another thing it's hard for me to be able to find a job outside of this house because daycares you don't really want to take your child with autism to daycare especially if they're nonverbal because they're not able to really tell you what's going on and if they're having a meltdown the daycares don't know how to handle them most likely unless you get a daycare that you really know the people really well and that they're experienced with children with autism. So that's another thing that with a typical family that have children that don't have special needs, they don't have that to worry about really. And I'd say as a mom, it's hard because you're not like a lot of parents. You really don't have anything in common with them. It's also hard whenever you have multiple children and one of them has special needs, but the other two don't. So, when the other one with special needs wants something or is upset or is certain, is away, is, is used to a certain structure, a certain schedule, and if the other two kids do not follow by that schedule and they do something that he don't like, well, pretty much he gets upset with them and he don't understand that he can't grab them or take stuff from them or anything so it upsets the baby which is the four-year-old spoiled brat and he screams bloody murder so you might hear him screaming in the background um one thing that is difficult having a, a marriage you know with when being in public with uh, your child with autism <laughs> It's difficult um, when people will stare because they don't know why he's yelling or laughing out of nowhere and uh, you have to try to not be offended with them um, really because they don't uh, they don't even know that your child has autism um, from looking at him you can't tell he has autism until he shows some of those actions of just yelling out of nowhere or, <clears throat> or crying for no reason or laughing for no reason and you know you kind of have to just smile and go your way when people are staring or looking what's wrong with him you have to just you know ignore it go your way and uh it's, kinda, it's hard to keep your mouth shut it's though it's hard to do that sometimes it's hard not to say anything to people that stare yeah. and how rude it is to stare at children that may be different than what your child is yeah. but, it's a challenge but on the other hand um you know Sometimes Aiden wants to go out, and if he doesn't want to go out, and... If we want to, and he doesn't want to, we have to do what he wants us to do. Yeah. And a lot of people would disagree with that, letting your child have their way, but well, it's not like that. Yeah. He doesn't get his way. He just uh, can't control his feelings or actions when he's uh, forced to do something that he doesn't want to do. Uh, he doesn't handle it like you or I would or somebody else would. He handles it uh, his way. Crying and yeah. he bites himself. And he bites. And 
This what he does when he's frustrated. Yep. Bites and yells very loud. And that's another thing he'll do when in in, in public in the grocery store. He you'll just <clears throat> if he's not wanting to be there, he will yell and he'll bite his arm and um So sorry for the background noise. Sometimes when we're out in the grocery store or just at Walmart and he starts screaming and biting, one of us will just have to go and sit in the car with him. Uh, what I do is go get a cheeseburger. Because <laughs> he loves to eat and yeah. food makes him happy. Yep, and it hushes him right up. <laughs> um, another thing is, like, he doesn't... He doesn't eat certain foods. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. So, like, if everybody is eating green beans, mashed potatoes, and chicken, um, he's only going to eat the chicken. And might eat the green beans. Might, but we know for sure he's not eating the mashed potatoes. That's right. So, our dinner it's and like a diet, buffet. It, well, it's mostly based around what Aiden likes to eat. <laughs> Yep. So if I like mashed potatoes, I, we just get like the Bob Evans, the little tiny, <laughs> just enough for us to, because not everybody here is going to eat them. And it's, again, it's not because he's uh, picky or spoiled or it's He has what they call, it's the sensory disorder. And a lot of children with autism, it's common with them. They don't like certain textures and certain um, tastes and stuff like that. Like, he don't like certain clothing uh, texture. He won't wear it. And he don't like anything that's, um, like, mushy or mixed together. But he loves anything crunchy. So he will eat, like, vegetables and stuff that are crunchy. Things that are healthy for him, he will eat. Um, he likes um, celery, right? Yes. He likes celery. He so, really likes a lot of vegetables. Is it affecting our marriage? Sometimes uh, we see things different as far as what <clears throat> what mom wants to do for him or give him, uh, and what I want to do is different. So sometimes Aiden will be sick or he'll be moody and he'll just want to go to bed early and uh, one of us or the other one of us disagrees on that because we, I don't want him getting up at 4.30 in the morning and asking me to get up to make pancakes <laughs> when I got Aiden to loves pancakes so, so I don't want him going to bed at 7:30, but if he if you don't let him go to bed at 7:30 at he night, he's very upset. He'll be mad and fighting and yelling. So I just go to sleep with him so I can get up to make pancakes. Or some of the medications that Aiden is given, I disagree with, but mom agrees with and Mainly because if we did, if he wasn't on that, he would not be able to function at all every day. Before he was given that a couple years ago, he was very self-harmful to himself. Like, he was out of control. And you couldn't do anything with him at all. And since he's gotten this, he's really calmed down a lot. I mean, yeah, he still has his meltdowns. He gets upset. But they're nowhere near what they used to be. So it does help him a lot. But I wanted to try supplements. I wanted I wanted to try you know um, the omega threes and um, you know he is taking one supplement for sleep and it's melatonin helps him sleep at night um, and he's been taking that for years now <clears throat> three or four years um, but I just worry about. Um, the medications have a lot of side effects 
and you know he'll get certain medications have made him lose weight to where he looks sick and not anymore there we've gotten that straightened out but I, I worry about you know what you can't see I wanted to say something about as a mom and how hard it is to deal like Aiden is nonverbal completely and sometimes it really gets me down and sad because there's so many moms as far as like for example I have friends I have family my sisters a lot of people that have children and they don't have special needs and they're able to communicate and talk with them well Aiden has never been able to communicate and talk with me he's never been able to say a word to me so it really gets me down in the dumps because I want to hear his voice I want him to be able to say something to me I want him to be able to just say the simple words like you know hey mom or I love you he's almost 10 years old and he has no words whatsoever he cannot have a conversation with me um, like a typical 10 year old boy would be able to do with his mom he can't do that so it really gets hard to face that there's a big possibility that I'll never be able to hear his voice I'll never be able to carry on a conversation with him and I know it's even harder for Anthony to deal with that because having a 10 year old son that you're supposed to be able to do things with father son so things conversations that you're supposed to be able to have we can't have that with him and um it gets really like it's it's an emotional draining there are ways thing. of us communicating with him but it's not the same it's not no matter what anybody says i know a lot of people will probably disagree with me and tell me that i should be grateful for whatever i have but you know what I don't care what they say because I have my own feelings and I have a right to feel the way I feel as a mom. And I just, I want to be able to hear his voice. I want him to be able to have a conversation with me. So, it's just hard to explain the emotions that come along with it of, of autism, period. Like, you know, the ones that have autism and that they're able to speak and be verbal, be thankful for that. Because... It's really, I've looked online at trying to find a family that I can relate to, and I've found one, and that is it, as far as having a child with autism that is nonverbal. And they're not all the same, not all the same at all. But there's so many that I come across that they say they have autism, and they talk so well, they act you know I know it's I'm not saying they act they don't act like they have autism or they don't look like they have autism because that's very frustrating when people say that like he don't look like he has autism or he don't act like he does but when it comes to communication part that's what I'm talking about but it's just it's really hard a lot of um, parents that get to have conversations with their child and it just bothers so we're me we're gonna so. end this video um i think we pretty much covered everything we wanted to say about how autism affects our lives and our marriage but um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if there's any other videos that you would like to see us do just by ourselves please leave it in the comments um we're trying to grow our channel and we're hoping to be able to get more viewers if possible um so we wanted to do this video just to let you guys know how it affects us so catch you guys in the next one peace out